G'day all, I just wanted to take this opportunity to update you on a number of things happening in CFA. Firstly, there's the fires. We currently have eight going fires in the eastern part of Victoria at the moment. Last week there were 18 and we're down to eight. So there's been a terrific effort to bring those under control. So thank you to everybody for participating in that. And interesting, a fact that people might not know, is we've had just about every state, Western Australia, Northern Territory, every state and territory bar Tasmania, and that's because they've got their own fires um, supporting us in Victoria um, throughout these fires. And at the moment, as I speak, we have um, support from New Zealand, which is terrific given the circumstances that are tragically occurring in or have occurred in that country. Smoke is a big issue for us at the moment, and so there's a lot of work being done with EPA. We, we are increasing our burns, but we have to do that to make sure people remain safe um, moving forward. So we're not out of this. The ground is still dry. The drought factor is up there, so we need to be vigilant. But hey, thanks for everybody. CFA and other firefighters have done a terrific job in that space um, moving forward. Can I then take you now to um, the championships on the weekend. So the Urban Championships happened on the weekend. Congratulations to Dandenong. I know there's a lot of motion there, but the Dandenong Fire Brigade won that. Osborne Park won B grade, so congratulations to them as well. A terrific effort and a terrific precursor to what we'll do in Marupna, which is combining the urban and rurals next year. So watch out for that. But a special watch out, a shout out if you like, to the juniors in Kyneton who beat the Chiefs Chargers this year. Um, certainly will give you a, a red hot go next year, but congratulations to those guys um, and girls. Can I also highlight that we're about to trial the urban helmets for volunteers. So that test is out there and we will be reaching out shortly through different mediums, emails and the like, looking for volunteers that have that B and BA search and rescue qualification so you can assist us with that field testing and trialing of the uh, urban helmets for volunteers. So keep your eye out um, on for that as well. The Vic FCS and Red Cross have partnered to have a neighbourhood uh, day coming up. That'll be launched, launched on the 31st of March. This is about where we're encouraging neighbours to simply talk to neighbours, get to know each other, bring back that whole culture where, hey, we can support each other in our street, etc. This is about building community resilience. Watch out for that launch. It's, um, it's happening shortly and it's a collaborative effort between a number of agencies, including CFA, and we're taking ownership in that as well. And finally, Last week, last Thursday, we, we launched the, the Good Friday Appeal. As you would know, CFA are great participants in that. Most, many of our brigades have been actively involved supporting this throughout the year and for many, many, many years as well. And we've raised literally millions and millions of dollars for the kids in the hospital. Encourage you to get on board with that once again. This is a great cause. It really is time that we're proud of our organisation, the contribution we give to our community well and beyond fire. And this is about helping kids that are sick in hospital. So I encourage you to do that as well. Hey, just a few things happening in CFA. Um, thanks for watching.